Good morning friends from Thailand, beautiful beach of Pak Nam Pran. I can so highly recommend it. It is a small paradise and it's not very developed uh, with the hotels and the resorts yet. This is the local market and it's been, it's quite warm here. Uh, yesterday it was I think 32 or 34 degrees but uh, iPhone says it feels like uh, 42 because of the high humidity. Anyway, uh, Esther and I, we've been here and we've been reminded of uh, how important and how perfect God has done uh, things in uh, by starting the way back to Eden, the way. Uh, because some of the, one of the reasons for starting the way was to fight loneliness. Uh, to fight suffering, to fight loneliness, and to have people come together all around the world and have family and belong. And God has been speaking so much uh, lately about the importance of belonging. Like you are not alone. You should not feel that you are alone. If you, if you are a follower of the way, if you are a follower of Jesus, you are not alone. You are walking together with millions all around the world and wherever you go you can find family and what the way wants to do and everywhere where we will establish is three things first of all uh, this is the revelation i got to start the way first of all to build an altar for the lord meaning a place to worship him to love him, to focus on serving God. So that's an altar. It can be a church, to build a church. It can be just a small ecclesia, like a home church. It can be where two or three are gathered in the name of Jesus, there he is among us. So it doesn't need to be more than two or three. So if you are uh, two or three, if you are one and you have two, one or two persons, you can meet with, uh, then you can start this ecclesia, this church, uh, this fellowship. Because we are created to fellowship, I want to come back to that. So on every place, we want to first build an altar, like uh, Abraham did, like uh, they did when they went around uh, taking land. They first of all build an altar for God, for Yahweh, for the creator, for Jesus, who created everything with his word, who is the word. So that's what we want to do. But number two, we want to have a table in every place. And you can see in the Holy Bible also, uh, people gathering around tables, and you can see Jesus ministering so much around tables. It's often sitting down uh, with people, eating with them, that he shares with his disciples where he shares his kind of heaviest secrets and also shares and heals and does things. So we want to invite people everywhere where the way to back to Eden is. We want to have a table. We want to invite people to come and eat, to taste and see that the Lord is good, to taste and feel and experience that they are not alone. We are not created to be alone. We are created in the image of God. And God himself is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. One God in three persons, a fellowship of love. We are created. Sorry for the cars and the... Yeah, I should maybe show you. So, uh, we are created for love. We are created out of love and we are created for love. We are created for fellowship. And that's why... Um, one torture strategy is to isolate people and to just isolate them in a cell that breaks people down, that breaks our, us down. So we are created not to be alone. And even if you're an introvert, um, you are created for a fellowship, but in the doses that you need, you know? And the, so we want... Uh, to encourage people, you who listen, you who see this video, wherever you are, if you want to be part of 
the way i hope you will after you get to, getting to know our videos and our dreams and visions um in every country we want a, a, a altar for the lord and a table a table for people to eat from to actually be invited to a meal and that can be in your home can be on the beach <laughs> Like yesterday was at Songkran here, and maybe pe many people were gathering families together, dogs, babies, grandmas, moms and dads, uncles and, and neighbors, sitting around tables, sharing a simple meal. It doesn't need to be an elaborate meal. It does just need to be a kind fellowship where you can feel that I belong. Because part of the vision of the way is that people will not just know in their head, but feel that they belong. You belong. As a child of God, you are created by Him. So everyone who is created by God, and that includes everybody, in all religions, you know, we are the human race. We are God's children, all of us in that sense. But when you come to jesus and believe and trust his words you trust god's words and then you be you are born again and then you are born and put into god's family which he says you are a chosen offspring like you are the chosen offspring of god you are a royal priesthood a holy nation you belong to a holy nation you have a citizenship now in a holy nation and in the kingdom of god and you are God's special possession. And why? To declare the praises of Him who called us out of darkness and into His wonderful light and into His fellowship and into fellowship with each other. So that's a very core important thing. That's why you will see everywhere where we in the way are, we will set a table. We will set a table for people and uh, people who are poor, people who are rich, we all belong together. So please, if you can help us set a table, maybe once a month, we recommend to do it on the first day of the new month, because that's the new moon uh, celebration, where we can, the new month celebration, where we don't celebrate the moon, but we celebrate he who created the moon, and we thank him for the new month, and we give ourselves and the time we have to God uh, in gratefulness and we stay together so that no one will enter the new mo month alone but know that they are family that they belong 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 you belong okay and the third thing we also want to have is the house like a home where people can come and stay sleep have a hug be taken care of help where you can come and contribute with who you are and what you can and um, and belong one more time is, is to belong and where we can kind of serve you and help you maybe going through hard times maybe you don't know what to do for the next six months and then you know that okay to the convent uh, in Norway now and when we open in other countries you can come you have a home somewhere where you belong where you can contribute or you can just come and rest so, an altar for the Lord first, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and then you will have everything added to you afterward. And then, the altar, the table, and a home. That's what you will find where the way back to Eden is. And we hope that you will join us in making altars and setting tables for people and offering a home. So, please contact if you want to be part of this vision in Thailand, in Saudi Arabia, Turkmenistan, Sudan, Colombia, Venezuela, in, in Inner Asia, in Norway, in Sweden, in Denmark, in US, in Brazil, wherever you are, in Tunisia, you know, um, and in Dubai, Dubai. I hope someone's uh, watching who want to do uh, start this in Dubai. We really want to have an altar for the Lord table for people and a home in many many countries please contact if you want to be part and you can you don't need to have a home or a convent 
you can just start a group of three or two and build an altar with your worship, with your honoring Jesus. And, or you can set a table once a month and invite people. Um, in that way, you also become part of the way. And, and write to us, write to um, inbox us. Okay. May God bless you. And please know that you, you are not alone. You belong. And we need each other. God said that to Adam, who was in paradise, like, I guess it must have been more, almost like this, paradise. To Adam, who was in paradise, communing with God, no sickness, no sin, no suffering, no death. And yet he said, it's not good for man to be alone. We are created for fellowship. We are created to be together. Uh, introverts also, in your doses, as I said. But we are created to be together. Do not be alone. You belong. You belong with us. You belong with God. Come home to the Father who waits for you with open arms. Not to punish you, but to forgive, to cleanse, to dress you in a robe of strength and dignity so that you can laugh towards the coming days. May God bless you. Much love from this paradise here. See you soon again.